the Beltrami County Historical Society is thrilled to announce their opening of its first special exhibit of 2022 called the Beltrami County Women in Winter Sports that features women athletes of various team and individual sports. I met with a group of ladies at Bemidji's Historic Depot this morning to tell us more in tonight's In Focus. This exciting exhibit displays hundreds of artifacts donated and on loan from Beltrami County women athletes and their families, including photographs, awards, equipment, uniforms, and much more. I wanted to start with something that had a great winter theme that I thought would interest people. Um, and also it's the 50th anniversary of Title IX, so what better year to celebrate the very amazing and extraordinary women of Beltrami County um, through uh, an exhibit celebrating their achievements and feats. So that's, that's kind of how this came to be. The exhibit highlights achievements across a variety of sports, including basketball, biathlon, cheerleading, cross-country skiing, curling, and much more. I heard about this exhibit idea. I knew that there was going to have to be some writing that came along with it and I just happened to know some really phenomenal female athletes who I figured would be able to give us some good items to put on display. Though there are many special items located at this exhibit, there are many great stories behind them as well. One that stood out was the story behind women's modern basketball that didn't become fully accepted until 1972. We had been given some information in the spring of 73 that there was going to be girls basketball. So I went to the original meeting and when I got there, some of us had been talking but there were only five of us at that original meeting. And the coach at the time, who was going to be our coach, was Miss Schnickels. And Coach Schnickels said, well, we need more people. And I kind of looked around and thought, well, we have five. <laughs> but we knew we needed more. On that first year, of course, we had no uniforms, and um, we, were, we wore our, um, our gym uniforms. Parents, the moms, I am sure, who, who got together, we all sewed them on, but it was electric, blue electric tape. And if you ever see a team picture, the numbers are all different size because we kind of tried to make it look like a uniform. But um, yeah, the moms had to sew them on, and those first two years, we had two seasons, that that's all we wore. And the Fulton sisters shared that their dad always referred to them as pioneers. These were our first letter jackets that we earned. <laughs> they weren't the same as the boys. They almost looked more like a cheerleading jacket, but we were just tickled to be the first letter winners. So, you know, we think we were the pioneers, but there were women in front of us. They just didn't get the opportunity. When you get to where you're going, turn around and help her too, for there was a time not long ago when she was you. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.